why on the day of my birthday, this man got down on his knee and proposed to me? You cannot be for real. Oh my God, you for real. No, you for fake. No, you for real. Are you serious to me right now? Welcome to another video! Oh. Hope you guys are having an amazing day! Listen, I know exactly why y'all clicked on this video because y'all here for the tea, okay? Yeah! <laughs> y'all love to be all up in my business, girl, and I'm here to spill the tea, okay? But before we get into some things, honey, make sure you are subscribed. Guys, we are so close to 10k okay we are so close okay i'm pretty sure probably after this video we're gonna um reach a 10k honey and i'm gonna go live and we're gonna figure out this um giveaway thing okay but anyways yes make sure you're subscribed like this video and click that notification bell i'm not playing with you so listen, hope you guys had an amazing weekend. You had an amazing weekend. And so this topic that I'm, I'm going to um, talk, this story time that I'm going to tell y'all about today, I've been wanting to tell y'all for a little bit now. And I kind of waited because I was like, do I want them in my business all the way like that? Or should I keep this to myself? But because this channel is called Life of Carrie, and I told you I was going to get a little personal with y'all, I am going to tell y'all the details of what happened, okay? So, wait, I think I need to reverse a little bit because my camera is in the sun and I feel like it's going to go out. It's going to... um. It's gonna turn off because it's in the sun, honey. Um, damn it. I feel like it's gonna go out. Hold on, y'all. Hold on. So, yeah, so you guys have probably heard me talk about this a tiny bit, um, but I didn't go into detail. So, um, before I get into it though, Make sure if y'all are not subscribed, I know y'all probably like, girl, start talking. I know, um, what am I saying, girl? Lord have mercy. So, if y'all are not, um, following me on Instagram, make sure y'all go follow me at RMB Genius. I'm gonna put it on the screen right here, period. And yeah, if y'all are not following our, my twin page as well, go and follow at Batty Twins, okay? Period. So... Let me go ahead and say, oh, before I start. Girl, stop playing with us right now. Like, we, we really don't feel like <laughs> Find you from out of the play with ho. Make sure if y'all haven't seen my previous vlog, which is almost an hour long, make sure you go and watch that as well and catch up on all the videos that you haven't seen. If you are just start subscribe, if you just start subscribing to this channel, Make sure you go and check out the previous videos also. Okay, let's get into it. Because I know y'all are probably annoyed at this point, girl. Um, so for those y'all who for those of y'all who don't know, let me put my phone on silent. For those of y'all who don't know, yes, I was married before. Wow. And um, where should I even start? Uh, maybe I should start from the beginning. What's not clicking? What's not clicking? Okay, so I got married in about 2000 and I want to say 14. It was a long time ago. So, I, um, yeah, I think it was 2014. So I had met this guy. I think we met online. We met on a dating app. Okay, so we met on a dating app. We were talking for a while and we decided to go on a date. So, um, this was when I was living in New York, of course. 
So we met up. We went on a date, girl. Um, I'm trying to remember where we went. Um, he invited, he, um, asked me out on a date and we went to this place and I remember we had dessert. So I know it was in Manhattan that we had dessert. We had, um, this crepe thing, you know, the desserts that they call crepe, um, crepes, is it crepe or crepes? And they put like the, um, the, cho the chocolate syrup on it with like fruits and stuff like that y'all probably know what i'm talking about girl so yeah we went out and have that and i just remember at the time of my life when we met um i wasn't necessarily looking for anybody but i wasn't closed off to it i was open to date and see where it goes so I was liking this person because we were talking and communicating on the phone and stuff like that. So I was liking this person. And when we met, I just loved their personality. They were really sweet. They were really respectful. Um, yeah, they, they were like, they had like all the attributes that I would, that I'm looking for in a guy. Um, looks wise, they were average. Um, which is okay with me. I'm more of a personality person anyways. Um, they, I liked the way that they dressed. Um, there's also something about dreads that I liked and they had dreads. And I just like, I mean, to me, I just like how a dark skinned man looks. Like a darker man, like a nice chocolate man. And he had that chocolate color. Oh, sorry. <laughs> so, yeah, I, I was definitely attracted to them. So, we went on the first date. The first date went really, really good. I think we went on the second date probably, I would say, the next week. And we just kept going out and having fun. Um, next thing you know, um, he came by my house where I was living. So, at the time when we met, he was living with his mom. Oh, Lord. Again, I think were were we around the same age? Were we around the same age? I don't remember. I think we probably were around the same age. Um. So yeah, that was. I I mean I didn't really have a problem with him living with his mom, cause he kind of explained the situation to me, and um. And he was Haitian, so Haitian parents kind of it's kind of like Caribbean parents where they love where they love to like have their kids in the house with them, living with them for as long as possible or whatever, whatever. If you're if you're if you're from the Caribbean, you know um, your parents or whatever, girl. So yeah, so it wasn't really a big problem for um, knowing that he lived with his mom or whatever. So we went on a few dates and all of that and every, i feel like everything was going um good now when we met it was like in the beginning of the year so it was like in february right so it was right before my birthday it was in february we interrupt this program to bring you a special report And now back to your regularly scheduled program. And yeah, everything was going okay. So at the time that we met, I was actually, it was before we moved into that place in the um, the basement that we were living in in Brooklyn. And at this time when we met, I actually didn't have my place yet. I was actually staying at one of my best friend's house and we was looking for a new place. We had just moved from that place. Um, we were living in the Bronx and we were looking for somewhere to live and we were staying by our best friends. So yeah, I didn't have, yeah. So 
we were going through that phase of trying to find somewhere to live and whatever. So I don't particularly know. I, I wasn't particularly in a in a mind state of being in a relationship at that time because I was so focused on just working and trying to find somewhere. When I tell you it is so hard to find somewhere in New York, especially in the Brooklyn area for a affordable price. New York is so expensive, it was so hard to find somewhere to live. So anyways, we dare we date in our whatever whatever we finally make it official i think after a month we make it official that yeah we go together or whatever whatever he was so loving he was so sweet he was so respectable and guys my camera shut off because um i was in the sun and it got overheated so i had to like actually start the camera but anyways where was i um what was i saying um so yeah, he was he was very sweet, he was very respectable and yeah, I really liked him, but I didn't know him because we just started dating. And I could already tell from the beginning that he was already madly in love with me and I was just like still getting to know him because I don't know him from nowhere. Um so yeah, so it kind of started off kind of like that already that I can already tell that he was madly in love with me. So fast forward, remember I told you we met in February, right? So fast forward, my birthday is in May. So that's February, March, April, May. So why on the day of my birthday, this man got down on his knee and proposed to me? You cannot be for real. Oh my God, you for real. No, you for fake. No, you for real. Are you serious to me right now? Girl, that is March, April, May. That's three months after we met, girl. The tea is exceptionally good today. <laughs> Who made this? Mmm, mm, very delicious. Hold on. Mmm. I know I'm that girl, honey. I know I'm that girl, honey. That would be me. But three months after we met, you gonna propose so soon, honey? So anyways, I don't know. I feel like I've always had this dream of just somebody getting down on their um knee and proposing to me so it felt so special and for somebody that um i don't know for somebody to just do that i don't know i felt i don't know i felt obligated to say yes in the back of my mind i knew it was like too soon for somebody to actually propose to me and me saying yes and in the back of my mind, I knew I wasn't ready because I didn't know this person a lot yet because we just met. But the moment felt so perfect and it felt so good that I said yes. And I know some I, somebody watching this video has probably been in that situation before. So I said yes and it felt perfect in that moment. But I, I don't know, I just knew in the back of my head that I carry what the hell are you doing? <laughs> you barely know this guy. How are you going to um, actually get married to this person and you don't even know them? What's not clicking? What's not clicking? But anyways, um, so yeah, I said yes. That was on my birthday. So remember I said we met in February and he proposed to me in May. So yeah. Um, now, he proposed to me and... I don't know, from that moment we got proposed, I would say, I don't know, it's like something happened, like, it started, it started getting weird, it felt like, okay, he met me and he fell so much in love with me and it got a little bit obsessive that, you know, like when you meet somebody and you want to make sure that they're that they're yours 
so that nobody else could somehow have them or you don't want them to be like trying to get with anybody else like date anybody else you want them to be yours like right away you in danger girl so you want to make sure that you put a ring on it like really really soon well if you like it then you should have put a ring on it but yeah it kind of like was that situation so mind you and i kid you not as soon as we got engaged i would say probably like the next week he was trying to get married like he was sending me pictures or talking about like places to um that we could rent to get married or he would send me like pictures of decorations um and i was like pump your brakes for a become I know that we're engaged, but we don't have to get married right now. I am kind of in the process of searching for a new apartment and that was kind of stressing me out. And we were staying with our friends, as I said earlier, and we've been staying with our friend for nearly six months now. So we've been looking for all that time to try to find somewhere for six months now and we were just not getting anywhere. So. We even hired a broker and I don't know, he was taking a while to find us somewhere because it was just that hard to find. And um, so we had like a budget like of how much money we wanted to spend on somewhere and it was taking a while. So anyways, meanwhile, I am trying to do that. I feel like my fiance, it's kind of weird saying that, he was kind of stressing me out because every day it was just like wedding, 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 wedding. Let's plan this wedding, wedding, wedding. And I'm like, calm down. We don't have to get married right now. We do not have to get married right now. I, yeah, we were engaged and that's good, but we still need to get to know each other more before we actually get married. So let me fast forward a little bit. Six months into our relationship. So that's probably like, so we met in February. So March, April, May. So that's three months after we got engaged. I decided that I want to, uh, we sat down and um, I wanted to talk to him. So I was like, I don't think I spoke to him and I was like, I don't think it's smart for us to get married right now. Financially, we don't have it right now. And I think we should wait. We're kind of rushing or whatever. Who told me to say that, girl? He started crying. He started um, saying, oh, my God, you're breaking up with me. What did I do? Oh, my God, how can I fix it? I want to get married right now. And I'm like, calm down. You didn't do anything. Well, he did do something. Every day, he would talk about this wedding. He didn't really care about me trying to find somewhere. That didn't seem important to him. He just wanted to get married, married. And every day, it's, he's sending me pictures of decoration and all of this, girl. And um, different locations to rent and all of that, girl. When knowing, knowing that financially, we couldn't afford it because... He had a regular job, yeah, but he wasn't making that amount of money for us to do any wedding or whatever. So I was like, please, can we just calm down? Because we cannot afford this right now. I'm trying to find somewhere to live. And you don't seem like you want to help me. All you are focused on is getting married. So he thought that I was breaking up with him. Now, that that should have been a sign for me to actually break up because we were six months in our relationship and he proposed to me um, way early and I was still trying to grow my feelings towards him. Cause at this point, I still wasn't in love. I wasn't in love with him. No, I and he was head over heels over me he was to the point where he was obsessed and i was like 
what the hell? What the hell? So I was still trying to grow feelings towards him. I mean, he was perfect. He was perfect. Like, in, in reality, he was perfect. Like, his personality, everything, the way that he treated me was perfect. But I just wanted to grow to love him organically and not be, in, be rushed. So anyways, um, we spoke or whatever, whatever, and he cried and he was devastated. He thought I was breaking up with him. So I had to talk to him and let him know that, calm down, we are not breaking up. I'm just telling you to pump your brakes. We don't have to get married right now. Let me figure out my living situation and then we can figure out that after. We don't have to get married right now. So anyways... We spoke and I, he still, he felt some type of way about the whole situation. So I remember him telling me that he feel like he's just so madly in love with me and I don't really care for him as much as how he cares for me. Um, I definitely did care for him, but I got where he was saying that I wasn't head over heels as much as he was. And that was only because I was trying to get to know you more. I was trying to get to know him more. And I also felt like I shouldn't have said yes to the proposal because I was just not ready. You're absolutely right. I was not ready. So anyways, we eventually got married. <laughs>